Hello, my name is John Haneska, and I am a medical marijuana patient. I am 28 years old, and I've been a patient for about 12 years old. I suffer from epilepsy, as well as depression and anxiety. I've been on several pharmaceutical pills, anywhere from Depakote to Topamax to Dilantin. I take several medications for my asthma, and for the last few years, <clears throat> I've been a medical patient, and medical marijuana has helped me with my epilepsy quite a lot, as well as my depression, considered two pharmaceutical medications. When I took pharmaceutical medications, uh, the doctor kept increasing my dosage and switching me to different pills. A lot of the pills had side effects on me, anywhere from causing me to have more seizures to black out, anywhere from suffering concussions while taking medications. And the me medical marijuana is helped prevent um, my spells of my seizures. I have anywhere from one to four seizures a month compared to on a daily basis. However, at times, medical marijuana doesn't always help with the epilepsy and from there you have to try other things that do anywhere from edibles to a different form of the medication but overall it's helped a lot I still have a good stomach I haven't had stomach problems my attacks have been less over the years, I've been hospitalized less for my seizures, but at times, like I said, there's times when it really bothers me and I can't do too much. And then there's times when I smoke that joint and it helps a lot and eases the pain. Good evening. My name is Mike Graham. I'm from Mantino, Illinois. I've suffered with degenerative disc disease for the last 10 years. I've run the gamut of oral opiates. I was up to taking 360 milligrams of Oxycontin a day. It almost killed me. I, currently, I have a uh, morphine pump and spinal cord stimulator implanted inside me. I was bedridden and lost over 70 pounds when a hospice nurse recommended that I try marijuana. I have, and cannabis has saved my life. I put the weight back on. I'm able to eat. I'm able to function. I have a life again. This is a quality of life issue, and we need to take care of our patients in the state of Illinois. My name is Clayton Holton. I am 23. I live in Summersworth, New Hampshire. I have muscular dystrophy. I was born with it, a rare type called Duchenne's. It's like a virus that eats away at your body. I'm dependent on everyone else. I'm in a great deal of pain from sitting in this chair. It's been about 15, 16 years that I've been in this chair. There is no treatment for my condition. The only thing you can do is just stand back and just watch it happen. I have been offered from my muscular dystrophy doctors uh, Oxycontin, Norco's, uh, Vicodins, Percocets. Some of the side effects were throwing up, passing out in my wheelchair, falling over and making it even more difficult to do things for myself. I was first introduced to marijuana through teenage friends of mine in high school, and then I realized that it was making me gain weight. When using marijuana, a few hours later, I become very hungry and then I eat a couple pounds of food. When I use marijuana, I'm in complete control. I don't make uh, erratic decisions. I always think before I do something. Uh, with prescription medications, it's just a constant state of being drugged. You have no control over your thoughts and you just wanna either pass out or lean against a wall. When I was living in the nursing home, uh, they had a very big problem with keeping my weight up. I was not eating because of the Oxycontins they had me on at the time. I'm six feet tall. And I was down to 79 pounds. 
I went from being in a nursing home to living in California. I was able to grow my own cannabis, marijuana, and it was a lot easier. Um, I knew that there were no chemicals in it. I gained eight pounds in two months. Uh, people with my condition usually don't live past 16. For some reason, I've made it to 23, about to be 24. Uh, the specialists I go to are extremely confused about my condition. They still can't figure out what is going on inside my body that's allowing me to live for so long. Myself, I see myself as doing nothing wrong. I shouldn't be arrested or even fined for using it. I think it's ridiculous that I'm labeled a uh, criminal by my government for using something that's keeping me alive. Eight pounds to me, for my condition, means everything. Eight pounds means I can fight muscular dystrophy. My name is Tracy, and I suffer from an illness called multiple sclerosis. I've suffered from this illness since 1974. I was diagnosed with the illness in 1996. And right now, I'm 51 years old, and um, I find that when I use medical marijuana, I get to have a normal body. A normal body for a little while. And that's a freedom a freedom that you you need. It's essential and it's very hard to just let go because you can't let go. There's something in your brain that says I'm going to make your body stressed out and feel as tight and rotten as you can possibly feel. Boom! And that's what happens every day. Actually just hope for the best for the evening before and hope that that nothing happened the whole evening through and um, luckily I've been having very very good bladder results part of that has to do with medical marijuana I know it sounds strange but when I'm able to relax my whole body relaxes and I'm able to actually use the restroom like a normal person. And I don't take that for granted because I used to. And then I lost the ability to do that. Medical marijuana releases a lot of that tension. And I'm able to use the restroom like a normal person for a while. Medication is the only way that I am free from the chains that bind me and I have plenty of pharmaceuticals that I take on a daily basis that help with perhaps the more progression of my multiple sclerosis but they do absolutely nothing to give me some well-being, body well-being to feel okay in my own skin. Marijuana helps me feel okay and better in my own skin. Tell me about your medical condition and how cannabis helps you. Okay, I have a disease called Ehlers-Danlos type three with vascular association, heart, kidney, liver function. Um, this disease has called me to have pseudo seizures where I was not able to drive not able to function on over 60 different medications at one time and incorporating cannabis into my therapy has allowed me to taper off just about all of my medications. I'm no longer having blackouts or seizures. I'm able to drive again. I'm able to live my life and not be a zombie. So this is very therapeutic. It is truly a miracle medicine for me. And we need it here in North Carolina, and we need safe access for it.
You're absolutely right. We sure do need it for so many conditions and safe access. Absolutely. It has struck me uh, recently that, you know, there are probably more than tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of North Carolinians who can benefit from the medical uses of marijuana in so many different ways. And the fact that they are kept in a criminal status for using this medicine uh, versus other states where they're protected with health and compassion and protection from the law, this dichotomy has really struck me. What's your thinking on that? I think it is criminal at best for them to treat us like criminals instead of allowing compassionate care for the citizens of North Carolina that have voted them in office. We put these people in office to adhere to our best interest, and they don't. And we're not criminals. We are patients who need the help that everybody else gets. Thank you. 